Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Smash and today I'm bringing you a video about how to make money in 7 days to die and how to get rich quick early game. Now we're not going to be hitting any POIs or doing any jobs for the trader. All we're going to be doing is salvaging and specifically we're going to be scrapping cars and we're going to take a whole entire day and scrap every single car in the neighborhood and see how much money we can make from that. Now, let's go into our inventory real quick. What you're going to see here at the top of the inventory is a common list of items that you're going to get when you're salvaging cars. These things are going to make you quite a bit of money, and in a little while, you're going to see exactly how much it's going to make. But, for instance, the engine sells for $210 a unit. You're going to get probably, I would imagine, around 10 or 15 of these so that's going to add up and you're going to get quite a few lead car batteries as well. Now the batteries, obviously the prices are going to vary depending on the level that they are. A level three is going to sell for $361. And so you're going to get a handful of these and that's going to be a decent amount of cash. Um, the headlights, they are $50 a unit and you're going to get quite a few of those as well. Now the brass radiators, you can sell these, they're $42 a unit. However, I would highly recommend that you do not sell them. Uh, they're better off saved and put in your forge, smelt them down, and turn those brass radiators into shell casings for your bullet making. And that's going to be your ammo for Horde Knight and for hitting POYs, etc. Now, the bottles of acid are a little less common, but when you do get them, they do sell for $29 a unit. Uh, going on over to oil, about $20 a unit. Now, oil is precious. It's used for a lot of different things in the game, but assuming that, you know, our basic resource needs are met, this is going to be a way to make money is selling oil, and you are going to get a lot of oil. So it is going to add up. Now, the mechanical parts and the electrical parts, they're only $6 a unit, but again, you're going to get a lot of these, and it's going to add up. You may be really surprised at how much money you're going to make off of electrical parts and mechanical parts from taking a full day and just doing nothing but salvaging and scrapping cars. Now, same thing with the scrap polymers. They're only $3 a unit, but again, you're going to get an insane amount of these things, and it is going to add up, and you're probably going to get like at least $1,000 worth of scrap polymers. Uh, going on over here to our iron materials that we're going to be getting. Obviously, we've got the springs, we've got short iron pipes, and raw iron. Now, the springs, you are going to get quite a few of them, and you can sell them. You're going to get a ton of these uh, short iron pipes and a lot of iron. Um, and, you know, you can smelt these things down into the forge, or you can sell them. Uh, personally, I think you should not sell them. I think you should definitely smelt them down in the forge because later on what you're going to see is all of the iron that we're going to accumulate from salvaging and scrapping cars. We're going to chuck that in the forge. We're going to turn it into uh, forged steel and forged iron, which we're going to be using to make tools, steel tools, iron tools, and we're going to be selling those off to the trader. So it's going to get you a decent amount of iron to uh, make the tools, and you're going to make a lot of money off of those tools, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Now, the last couple of items that you're going to get is the leather and the cloth. I would go ahead and save the leather for making your tools when you're finally done scrapping all the cars in the neighborhood, but um, you can use that to make the tools and then just sell off the rest of the trader or just keep it in your inventory but that is another way to make money is just selling off the rest of your leather now cloth fragments they don't sell for a whole lot but you will make a little bit of money there um, so let's get into salvaging. We're going to be using the ratchet, and in my opinion, it's pretty much on par with the um, impact driver, and it's going to be the main tool that we're going to be using to scrap cars today. And what you're going to notice is that we've got a couple mods in here, so let's get into that real quick. Now we've got the iron breaker mod. It does 15% more damage against iron, which is amazing. That's going to help us break the cars down a lot faster, which is what we want to do. And then we've also got the structural brace mod, which lowers the degradation by 25%, which means our ratchet isn't going to break down as fast and we're not going to spend as many repair kits uh, throughout the day. Now something that I want to point out about salvaging is the hacker's candy. And what you're going to notice is that you get a 20% salvage harvest bonus. That means that you're going to get 20% more resource plus 20% chance to get more items like batteries and engines and headlights, etc. So that is significantly going to increase your income because it's going to put more of those items in your inventory. You're also going to get more iron and cloth and leather and polymers and all the good stuff that you see 
in the inventory there. Now, uh, let's go into our skill tree real quick, and I want to point out something that's really important about salvaging, and this is actually where you're really going to get the big boost on making income. Underneath the attribute of perception, you're going to go all the way down to the salvage operations, and what you're going to notice over here is when we unlock Junk Collector, which is Tier 1, you're going to see that you're going to be able to harvest 20% faster and gain 20% more resources with a wrench, ratchet, or impact driver. Uh, we've got this unlocked all the way to level three which is salvager which means that we're going to be getting 60 percent uh more resources when we're salvaging and it's also going to go 60 percent faster so with the combination of the iron breaker mod and salvage operations number three we're getting basically 75 percent increase on how fast we're breaking down cars and then also we're getting 60 percent uh, from the perk and then 20% from the candy that means that we're getting 80% more resources and items in our inventory when we're going to be salvaging now if you wanted to and you had enough skill points when you go all the way down to the bottom what you're going to notice is you get 100% more resources while uh, salvaging things with your wrench ratchet or impact driver which is pretty freaking amazing um, and it's all going to help us make money and get rich quick now, uh, let's go back into our inventory real quick. Um, so when we take a look at selling items and going to the trader and bartering and making money, okay, uh, if you get Magnum Enforcer Volume 4, while you have the Magnum in your hand and you're selling items to the trader, you're going to get a 5% better deal, which is pretty nice. And then if you get Urban Combat Volume 2, you can unlock the ability to craft cigars, which if you look in the inventory here, you're going to get a plus 10% to your bartering. So with the combination of the uh, Magnum in your hand plus the cigar, you're going to get 15% increase on your barter. Now, if we add on top of that some Sugar Butts candy, we're going to get another 10%, which is 25% increase to our barter and if you're able to find some grandpa's awesome sauce or craft it you're going to get another 20 percent so that's 45 percent increase to your barter and that's basically 45 percent more to your income when you're selling to the trader which is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me now uh you may be wondering what is this pumpkin cheesecake doing in here well let's just take a look at it real quick what you're going to notice here is that the bartering or buying is going to be plus five percent so now you don't get a bonus for selling items to the trader but you do get a bonus for buying items from the trader so if you're able to find this uh, schematic and you're able to craft pumpkin cheesecake when you go to the trader in combination with the cigar the sugar butts and the grandpa's awesome sauce you know what i mean you're going to get an added five percent so that'll be fifty percent when you go and buy which is pretty amazing because as we all know you're always upgrading and looking for better items and you may see an item that's going to cost a lot and that's how you're going to save money so and the last thing that i'm going to talk about real quick is the eye candy most of you are probably familiar with this already but we're just going to cover it real quick it gets a loot bonus of plus five and a plus ten percent you may be wondering why would we be carrying eye candy if we're not going and hitting pois well the main reason is that while we're out salvaging cars and scrapping them and breaking them down you know there are going to be cars that we can search through and loot and so this is going to give us a little bit of a bonus to the items that we get out of the car which is going to help us make more money so having said that, we're actually going to be hitting this whole entire neighborhood. We're going to be finding every single possible car that we can scrap, any school bus, any military vehicle. We're going to break it down and we're going to basically spend all day doing this. And I'm going to show you how much money you can make in one day from just salvaging using these techniques and methods. So let's go ahead and get into it.
Alright guys, we finally finished up going through the entire neighborhood, basically finding every single possible car that we could break down. And uh, I just want to show you guys what that's going to look like. So here is what's our in our inventory. So we picked up all of these items here and then also all of these items in here. I'm going to go ahead and sort this and then we're going to see exactly how much money we're about to make. Okay guys, we're back at the house. I went ahead and organized all of the loot that we salvaged today. We ended up with 13 engines. That's amazing, 200 bucks a pot. That's $2,600 worth of engines right there. We've got various uh, degrees of batteries here, but I went ahead and did all the costs on these guys. You can see this one's like 800, 496. The total is 3,440 bucks worth of batteries. And we picked up uh, about 56 headlights. Check this out guys, 2,400 for that, 288 for that, 601 mechanical parts. And this is what I was talking about. You get a lot of these things in one day. That's $3,846 worth, 72 electrical parts, that's $460, bucks. Uh, 168 bucks for all the acid. Now, this is what I was saying about scrap polymers. Check this out. We got 702, that's $2,246. We ended up picking up 153 units of oil. That's amazing. Check this out. They're 1000 bucks each per stack, so we've got... $3,060 right there. Um, we managed to pick up about $1,000 here worth of tools and uh, motor tool part included with that and the steel tool parts, which is great. We even picked up a freaking treasure map, dude, which is going to be part of the total cost of what we're making. So we're definitely going to go out and uh, dig up that treasure and see what we get. We picked up a few other miscellaneous items. We got a couple books here. There's a couple hundred dollars worth of that, some old cash, um, you know, some leather. And we picked up, dude, 20 radiators, 20 brass freaking radiators. That is a lot of brass. Now, you can sell these for 800 bucks, but honestly, they're worth way more in your forge for crafting bullets, for your shell casings, etc., and an additional 694 units of brass. And check this out, man. In one day, we accumulated 58,000 units of gas. Now, we could sell these for 200 bucks a pop. We'll probably sell a couple of them, but we're going to want to keep those, obviously, for our bike or your mini bike. Um, and then, in just a moment, we're going to head over to the trader. We're going to pop all of our uh, goodies here, our sugar butts, and our grandpa was awesome sauce and let's just make sure that we go ahead and equip our cigar so we get that plus 10 barter let's go ahead and eat a sugar butt and then we'll go ahead and drink one of our grandpa's awesome sauce and then we're definitely going to want to make sure that we've got our magnum equipped so let's go ahead on inside the trader and let's just see how much money we're going to make all right man it's going to be freaking awesome what is up joel <laughs> Sell all those. Awesome. And then we'll sell off all these tools here. Heck, we'll even sell those cups. Okay, so we're going to keep our iron and our radiators and uh, these steel tool parts and leather for our crafting. But as you can see, from one trader in one day, we made, we've got a total of $23,295. That's freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and head on over to some of the other traders and just make all the money that we possibly can. Y'all come back now. All right, so we are back at the home base. This is how much money we have made so far. We have made a total of $30,670 off of all the loot that we salvaged. Now, we've got some smelting to do. We could have sold the iron, but like I said, I think we're going to go ahead and smelt this in the forge. We're going to go ahead and craft a bunch of uh, iron tools and stuff, and then we're going to go ahead and sell those to the trader, and we're also going to go check out this treasure map. All right, guys, some time has passed, and we have finally melted down all of the iron that we got from our salvaging. And check this out, dude. This took forever. Uh, trust me, it took forever. But this is uh, what we were able to produce. So we got 529 pieces of forged iron and 20 pieces of forged steel. Now, I was going to make more forged steel and make steel tools. Um, something that I realized was that early game... You know, you're not going to necessarily amass a whole lot of steel tool parts. And it's like 15 steel tool parts to make a steel tool. So I went ahead and just made a bunch of forged iron for iron tools. Because I feel like that's probably a little more accurate early game. Especially considering the fact that you can't even unlock the crucible until you get level 5 um, on the uh, advanced crafting or advanced engineering, excuse me. So, you know, I feel like this is just more practical. Um, but if you do have it unlocked, man, steel tools is the way to go. Um, so let's go ahead and head on over here. Do, 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 do. We're going to head over to our workbench. And um, 
I'm in creative mode, so I went ahead and just gave myself a bunch of leather and wood and duct tape. Um, by now, like if you're in day 30 or something like that, you know, this will be really doable having this much wood and leather and duct tape and all that good stuff. Um, you know, because of where our stats are at in our skill tree with uh, Miner 69er, we are able to craft level 5 hammers. Now, obviously, you know, in the beginning, you're not going to get as much for your iron tools, but this just goes to show you what can happen once you get that leveled all the way up. So what we're going to do is we're going to craft a couple of these guys let's do seven of these and yeah, we'll do eight and then uh we'll do a couple of steel picks let's go over to our shovels so we'll make these and like check this out dude level five it's 498 dollars okay so you know uh, we had about two thousand maybe twenty five hundred dollars worth of forged iron and uh, forged steel. As you can see, once you are going to craft your tools, you are going to get way more money out of that iron than you would if you had sold all the springs and bars and all that stuff. So once these are done crafting, uh, we'll pick them up. We'll take them on over the trader. And then in the meantime, though, we are going to go ahead and hit this treasure map because that was part of our salvage operation. So we're going to go ahead and read this. We'll accept it. And then let's take a look on the map. So Sarah's treasure map is just right down the street. Let's go hop on our bike and then uh, we'll go dig that up and we'll see what we get. All right, we are here at uh, there is treasure map and there is a giant nasty bear. We're going to go for it. Come get some auger. Come on. You want it? <laughs> you don't want it, huh? You don't want it now? <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Awesome. Oh, we gotta go. Oh, no. Alrighty, we are finally home and check this out. We've got quite a few tools on the way. I think this is pretty much good enough. Check this out. We've got four hammers and oh, five hammers and a shovel. Look at this. That's seven hundred dollars a piece so that's what i was saying don't sell the iron that you collected from the salvaging convert it into forged iron and forged steel like look at this that's 700 1400 that's 2800 right somewhere around there i don't know it's <laughs> my math's not the best but i mean this is quite a bit of money here let's go ahead and sell some of this off to the trader and then we'll see what our grand total is all right, last stop. We are at Trader Jen. Let's go ahead and head on side and find out what so we made. I am so glad to see your face. I get lonely sitting by myself all day. All right, guys. So there you have it. We have a grand total of forty-two thousand one hundred sixty-eight dollars on this particular salvage run. I would estimate that you're probably going to make around thirty to forty grand every time that you do this, and you could do this uh, multiple times in a week. But like early game, man, like look how much money that we just made in one day. If you've got melee weapons, you can take out any zombies that are next to you while you're salvaging cars. You don't even have to spend a single bullet. If you were to make this much money hitting POIs, you would definitely be spending quite a bit of ammo to get this. And also, we picked up. Some some nice items you know we've got a ak-47 we found a treasure map which is pretty dope and yeah that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to show you some Alrighty tips and tricks then. on how to get Stay rich really there. quick also if you found this video helpful please leave a like and comment also hit that subscribe button we'll be coming back with more seven days to die gameplays and tips and tricks videos and we will see you soon